This week, Chris told us all about what she's going to be up to next semester. Amber told us what it's like moving out of residence. And Elena had some words of encouragement for first years on this week's The New Class. I'm going back home for uh, for the summer, so I'm very excited about that. I um, I told you the last time I uh, made it to the Man Ambassador program, which is interesting. Um, another program that I've been uh, taking part in is the Man Mindfulness Challenge. So now I feel at ease and less stressed, and life's good. So I attended one training program uh, last week and um, but formally everything would start in the fall. And I also signed up for the MUN Mentors program. I was a mentee last term and I'm going to be a mentor next term. I remember so clearly waiting for my mentor to uh, reach out to me because I didn't know anyone here and I didn't know anything about St. John's. So I was really looking forward to it. So I promised myself that I'm going to be a half decent mentor. And I'm going to miss walking back whenever I want. Oh. Like I was just talking to a friend, I'm like, oh, I'm so used to doing everything on my own and just being independent and, uh, and not being concerned. Like, I've never felt unsafe here. What's, uh, what the past few days? Um, if I haven't been at school, Keep in mind, I start at 8 a.m. and go until 3. I have been at one job, and if I haven't been at one job, I've been at the other. Or I've been cleaning up after friends. So you're no longer living in residence? No, it was, I'm staying here in the summer anyway, because I'm just gonna, I'm moving here. I have to just get officialized, I guess I should say that. And how does it feel to be no longer living in residence? I miss it. Like. Both places have their ups and downs. Res, after a while living with a hundred other people, you don't like it, or you like it. It depends on who you are. I'm a person that needs to recharge after work, so I like being alone, and living with a hundred other people does not work. But living off res, it's all, you have to figure out how bills are gonna be met, how everything's gonna work, there are two big things that I went through this semester. I was suffering with my depression a lot earlier this semester and a lot last semester. And if you are depressed in some way, shape or form, or if you do have a mental illness, talk to somebody. I know it seems hard, but they do have a walk-in clinic that you can go talk to people or you can book an appointment. Even if you talk, like if you live on res, talk to your RAs, they're there, they take courses. And the second thing, at least 50% of everybody that I've talked to has switched. Like, I came here for education, I'm now going through for a folklore major. You have to keep an open mind. If you don't keep an open mind and you come in with one goal in your mind, you're just gonna feel more stressed if you don't meet that goal. So if you wanna stay relaxed, just try to keep an open mind and talk. Yeah. I am excited for it to be over and I'm excited for a little break in between semesters so I can go home for a little bit and just relax. <laughs> Much needed vacation? Yes. <laughs> um, I got a new job, so I work at Boston Pizza Water Street now. Um, and that's the only thing that's super new. Well, good to have a bit of uh, extra spending money. <laughs> yes, <laughs> nothing wrong with it. No. What course is this now? Uh, this is Psychology 1000. So it's a pretty big lecture hall. Do you prefer the larger lecture halls or the, the smaller classroom sizes? I actually like the larger ones better. Um, I find with the smaller ones, I have to sit right in the front. If not, I can't see over anybody. <laughs> but with this one, the higher up I sit, the better I can see. <laughs> right. The difficulties of being... <laughs> Super short. <laughs> if you had to give other first years some advice. Um, 
I would say try not to stress too much. Uh, pick up some good study habits during the first semester and just don't overwhelm yourself.